as he jumped onto a stage inside a little village Mexican restaurant to kick off his congressional campaign last week, Jesus Chu Garcia tried to quickly pull together all the political movements at play in the ethnically and economically diverse district he wants to represent. To everyone here waving the Puerto Rican flag and the Mexican flag and everyone else, tonight I submit to you that my priority as your congressman will be to defend every immigrant in America with liberty and justice for all, Garcia, himself a Mexican immigrant, shouted to a loud round of cheers. This gathering signals the future to come. We will bring together all the people in the 4th Congressional District for good forward progress. Latino Chicago politics is having a spotlight moment in the wake of U.S. Rep. Luis Gutierrez's announcement that he won't seek re-election after 25 years in office. The unexpected, last-minute decision brought to the surface some of the political fault lines that have long made it tough for Latino politicians in Chicago to speak with one voice. There's a historical dispute between establishment and independent Hispanics, as well as one between Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. Now there's a generational one, as the next wave of Latino politicians is chafing against its elders' hold on power while trying to take advantage of the district's changing demographics to wrest control. In his remarks at Mi Tierra in the heart of his southwest side base, Cook County Commissioner Garcia brought up his age and energy level, a possible attempt to preempt criticism that he should move aside for a youth movement. I believe I have at least 10 good fighting years in me, and I'm going to make the most of them, said Garcia, flashing a toothy smile beneath the signature mustache he featured on his campaign signs for mayor in 2015. For anyone who might say, well, Chu Yi is 61 years old, remember this, I ran three Chicago marathons in the last eight years. I'm ready to go, a group of younger hopefuls is lining up to put Garcia's gusto to the test. First Ward ALD Proco, Joe Moreno, 45, is positioning himself as the pragmatist, touting his record of getting things done on the city council and ability to raise money. He said capable younger people should be allowed to assume the mantle of leadership. I think there's a talented group, not only myself but others, that's ready to step up, Moreno said. It's going to take four years to find the bathrooms, to really get your legs under you, and meanwhile you're running for re-election every other year. Freshman 35th Ward ALD Carlos Ramirez Rosa, 28, talks of the strength he has among Chicago's grassroots political organizations, such as those in the Black Lives Matter movement that count younger millennials among their members. The energy we need is from the grassroots level to counter the threats from Donald Trump, he said. And Sol Flores, 43, the executive director of La Casa Norte Community Organization that helps homeless youth and families, will be looking to tap into the goodwill she has built up through that work. Flores is a first-time candidate who was part of Mayor Rahm Emanuel's transition team in 2015.